Hello, this is Barar, and welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Football Manager 2019. And even though it's only been like two games since you guys last saw an episode, a lot's actually kind of changed. It's been kind of crazy. As you can see, we finally won a pair of games. Um, we've actually been undefeated for quite some time now, which is fascinating. Um, but we won against Lincoln here, uh, two to one. It was kind of close. Good penalty kick from Rooney, uh, getting us an early point, and then Dudley picking up the second one there. So that was really good. And that was, you know, winning an away game like that. And then we had Exeter. Exeter was ranked uh, third, I think. They now dropped down to fourth, but third place. And uh, I'll show you what we did here in a moment. But ultimately, it was a three to two win. Uh, but it doesn't show here is that. I think four of these kicks were all just off of set pieces. And so only one of these was was an actual legitimate you know goal. Uh, the rest of them were just set goals. And so I think both of theirs and then two of ours were for set goals. And so it's really hard to judge how good the formation was based off of something like that. Um, but we held on. So I guess the fact that we only gave up set goals, I guess, tells tells you something, I suppose. Um what else is going on? We'll go back. We'll get look at the formation here in a moment. We did use a new formation for that. Actually, you know what? Let's go ahead and look at that now while I'm talking about it. And then I'll touch on the other things that have changed as well. So the formation that we used, uh, I actually was looking at the analysis and you'll get a, you get to see what the formation is right there. But the analysis I was looking at is that our 4-3-3 narrow that I was trying to swap to see if it would do anything, really just not creating a lot of good chances. And we've only been playing against higher rated teams with it. And we're actually giving up more chances than we're, we're gaining. So didn't really feel too good. Uh, 4 2 4 wide is still just our best overall. Uh, our 4 1 4 1 DM wide also giving up a lot of chances. So I decided to um, to change things up. And as you can see, I went with a 5 4 1 wide. I mean, it's uh, it, it, kind of a crazy formation. I don't know what I was thinking, but the way it works is. Um, I knew we have a lot of really solid defenders. We just picked up the new guy. Um, what's his name? Just mind blanked his name. Is he out here somewhere? No. Uh, we just picked up new guy Phillips. And I'm like, okay, we got Phillips. We know the pond's still good. We know that Kelleher's still good. We've also got a lot of backups that could still fill those spots. Let's let's at least have three central defenders. See what that looks like. Uh, that moves these uh, Reed and Doyle up to wingbacks. Reed's pretty comfortable at a wingback. Doyle, not so much. But, uh, but and Torre is also kind of about, about that level. Not really that great, so maybe somebody we might look into if we decide to hold on to this. Um, kept our two midfielders that are really solid. Uh, you know, Matthews and Cooler, Matthews and, you know, anybody. We've got a couple guys there. Left Loy, uh, Lloyd and Dudley, or Lloyd and uh, Gaffney. I mean, Dudley's been playing pretty well. Gaffney's pretty, pretty, pretty well. We've got a couple good wingers and left us with one uh, striker at the top. And really what I was trying to go for is really just playing kind of defensive and leaving Rooney as the only attacking player to try and make, uh, you know, try to play this counter play. Really just defend, 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 and just find that one opening that we needed to get Rooney to break free. Uh, or, you know, eventually McFarlane or whoever and uh, and put it into the back of the net. And ultimately we did get that. And we were, were able to defend pretty well. Again, all of our uh, goals, I think, against this war are set piece, you know, goals. That they So basically it wasn't counting this defense. Um, but still not looking too great overall. It's only been one game, you know, one and two, one, four, two against, but um, overall, I guess not terrible. So we'll see. We may have to try that one again against another high rank team and see what that looks like. So that was the, the formation we played around with. Um, excuse me, a little bit of a yawn there. A couple other things that happened. We did lose our assistant coach. Uh, we got a new assistant coach came in and uh, you can see him right. Let's see your coaching team right here. Neil Howarth. I actually had try to recruit somebody and then I think our um our uh what am I trying to say our board or, or whoever uh general manager somebody went ahead and grabbed this guy which is fine he actually um you know assistant coach he's a 12 12 12 pretty good honestly uh, I'm I'm okay with that I'm not I'm not uh that's a pretty good ability pretty good management at this level I'm, I'm okay with that so we got we're able to pick him up that is fine the other things that happened were we did uh, loan out Lewis Collins, uh, get him some playtime, and we actually gave up Carl. I know it's crazy. How dare we give up Carl? Carl's played really well for us, not just this year, but all the years leading up to now. He's been a really, really good just player to bring in. But bringing in Nathan Phillips, um, and we have a couple other youngsters that we can rotate in and try and get development. 
I knew we had to give up somebody, and I would I would I'd rather give up somebody else possibly. But Carl's who who we got a request for, and we were able to bump them up. They started at like seven thousand fee. We were able to bump them up to almost a twenty thousand uh, dollar fee, which actually pays for half of Phillips. Now, obviously, Phillips is a huge upgrade over all of a lot of our players, especially Carl. So. I hate to see him go, but I think it was ultimately for the best uh, for the for the team. Excuse me, sorry. It is. I guess it's late, and I'm yawning. Apologies for that. But um, the uh, Carl here. Uh, you know, we'll see. We'll let, let him go. It's gonna be fine. He did go to another team in our league. So, in fact, not only did that, he actually went to the team that we're about to face off against. Right, Cheltenham. Isn't that who we're facing? I think, I think it is. Yep. So we're about to see. Carl face to face and see if uh, how he plays uh, against us. So that is going to be interesting. A couple other things: the uh, transfer window is actually up in. Does it say it here? Where does it say it? Maybe. Um, I'm sure it says it somewhere. Transfer window is up in like three days, two or three days. So I actually went out and reached out and tried to pick up a couple new guys, a couple you know wingers and a couple guys just a couple guys that just looked like they might be good players i was like you know what we've got a little bit of extra budget to spend we're not going to go crazy on these guys they may not you know see a whole lot of starter play time that may be more rotation or backup see if we can develop into something good they got some guys that are decent now and have a lot of good potential and we'll, we'll see those guys if if they actually um sign up for us i will show you those guys um and we will go for there actually here they are randall here uh was one of them um so decent player um, actually possibly three and a half star current, uh, with a four and a half star potential. So could actually be better than Lloyd, which is kind of crazy, uh, or Gaffney actually. And, uh, the other guy was Wilson here who actually could play either side pretty well. And also, you know, could be better. I mean, he's actually a little bit, not as good, but he still also has four and a half star potential. So a couple guys in, we're not going to really pay a whole lot of money for them. And so if we do get them, I think it's going to be, you know, fine. Spend a little, spend a little of the money that we have. We're saving so much money right now. Let's, let's go a little bit crazy before the transfer windows up and see if we can get some more guys in here. Anyway, especially with losing Collins on that right-hand side, you know, we might have some, some space to fill there. All of that being said, let's, let's get to the match. I think, yeah, I think that is everything. Uh, we've actually won two games. They've won one. Uh, Carl apparently is unregistered, which is interesting. So I guess we won't be facing off against Carl after all. We are not playing this formation. We are going to go with this formation here. Um, so we got Crocom in the net. We got Reed on the right-hand side. I think that is fine. Oh, I hate that it keeps doing this. Uh, let's do this. Let's. Um, I don't I think I actually care what your position is. Let's see here. Remove this column. I want to force this thing to come on over here and like not keep scrolling out. I don't know why. Every time you make a, a, your own thing, your own uh, view, a lot of times it just does this weird thing where it, it resizes those windows so messed up. So I'm trying to, I want to make it where it just doesn't ever do that. I don't care if it resizes it, it's fine. It's annoying, but um, I would like it to obviously stop doing that. Um, let's just get rid of this one. I don't think we need this column either. Still doing a little bit of that. I don't think we need this stuff. Because we can see that one on the other. Okay, so there, at least if it does goofy stuff with the resizing, we will at least be able to uh, still see the average rating. Anyway, so we got Reed here. Uh, I think that is fine. Wasi's actually played pretty good. Do we have a promise out for Wasi? I can't remember. Let's see here. Promise. We have promised to give Wasi a little bit more first team soccer. You know what? Wasi's actually been okay for us. More or less. You know what? We'll give well, Wasi some time here. Come on, Wasi. Let's see what you can do. You like a better thing. You like actually no nonsense stuff, but we'll go with this fullback attacking. Uh, Kelleher and Pond. Actually, I would rather bring my, my star player in here, Mr. Phillips. 7.18 uh, last five game rating. Uh, we'll group him with Pond. Pond's playing so much better than um, Kelleher right now, isn't he? Still, Kelleher is at a where's Kelleher? Uh, there he is. Uh, actually, Kelleher is at 6.94. 
Okay, okay. Fair enough. We'll bring Kelleher in here. Kelleher's starting to show up a little bit better. Maybe he's fighting for his job a little bit because he knows that uh, he's got some other people out there. Phillip's out here trying to trying to do his thing. Doyle on the left-hand side. Is that what we want? Doyle's starting to show up a little bit more. I've really been happy to see that a lot. Um, Donnelly's actually been playing pretty good last four, but I think we're going to stick with jo Doyle for now. Obviously, Ibu is great. Uh, we may leave him on the bench. Bird and Matthews. I think we have a promise for Bird as well. No, we don't, actually. Who do we have a promise for? Pritchard. Pritchard's actually okay. We might swap Pritchard in here, see what he can do. 6.7 at one average. is er, That's average. Ugh, actually, last five is Bird. Let's just go Bird all the way. Leave Bird in there. Matthews. Pritchard's just going to have to get over it, I guess. Dudley. I think I'm okay with Dudley, Lloyd, Rooney, McFarlane. Uh, we'll leave Gaffney on the bench. Beasley on the bench. Cool, Ture, Ellisley, Jones. I think these are all going to be pretty good. All right. I like it. Let us go submit our team. And we'll see if Carl actually shows up against us or not. All right, dressing room. Uh, any Carl? Nope, no Carl. So I guess this is going to be the way it is. Uh, we'll go ahead and let Haworth handle that stuff. I'm okay with that. Um, he's saying we should encourage them. Sure. Something like that. We've been playing pretty well. And actually, let's go look at our tactics real quick because I just realized I may not like what you guys are doing. Uh, poacher, advance forward, pressing forward. Go ahead and go advance forward with you. I guess Rooney stay in the target man role for now. I'm really hoping McFarland starts to show up, but Rooney's just playing better lately. All right, and we're off. Uh, let me make sure that we are set to... Uh, extended highlights, so we can see a little bit more of the action. Cheltenham in their yellows, bright yellows here. Uh, I guess that's a free kick for us, I was going to say. Uh, didn't look like his header worked out so well. I guess he was being held up. Uh, what's going on? Okay, there we go. Doyle. Uh-oh, Doyle. Come on, man. Already getting in trouble here. Second yellow card of the season. Yellow card two minutes into this game, and not too good to see. We are playing an attacking again. Might want to draw back to a little bit more positive, not be quite as aggressive, but we'll go with it for now. Bird picking up a yellow card. That's no good. Daniel Sparks. I thought it said Sparkles for a second. I was like, what? Forster up to Dawson. Dawson is going to... Oh, Matthew's got in the way of that one. Try to kick it up a little bit. Unfortunately, not able to get it to one of our men. Uh, so it is back to Cheltenham here. Over to Sparks. Sparks up to Thomas. Thomas gets it taken away from him by Phillips, but uh, Sparks was there to pick it back up. Over to Atten, Atten Gain, Atten Ghana. Uh Back up to Thomas. Thomas has some space here and just gets the goal just like that. Just not even, not even stressing him at all. Just boom, little lob. Um, and just an early goal give up here. That was not, not what you want to see. Um, Lloyd's going to take a free kick here. Oh, I thought that one was going to go in. Come on, guys. We've had a couple good wins lately. Let's let's not give up a loss here. Uh, yes, definitely. Please do not get booked again. Th uh, throw in here from Doyle into Matthews. Matthews going to get it back to Doyle. Deep in our territory. Doyle's going to kick it really deep. McFarlane is not quite in the area, although I was, thought he might be able to pick that one up, but not quite. And here comes Cheltenham again. They're going to toss it back to Matt Jones and reset a little bit here. Kicking it real deep here. Um... Kelleher's in the area. Matthew's able to pick this one up. Let's see if we can advance here. Uh, Matthew's getting tripped up there. Bird, thankfully, was able to pick that one up. Dudley over to Rooney. Rooney's going to get back over to Dudley on the right-hand side. Dudley, what you going to do with it? Back to Wasi. Try to kick it inside. Unfortunately, nobody's there. Bird is in the area. Doyle up to Lloyd. Lloyd has a chance here. Gets tripped up. Penalty. I was going to say. I was going to say. That looked like it would have been an easy goal had he not gotten tripped up like that. So here comes Rooney. Hopefully going to get us another goal here early in this game. 
Oh, yeah, just faked out the goalkeeper right and just kind of little easy, easy little uh, kick to the left. So Rooney, 16th goal of the season. Really good to see him picking it up this season. And there we go. Tied back up. Matthews with a free kick here. Getting inside. Lloyd uh, got his head on it. Not quite able to get it on target, though. Good try, though, guys. All right. Throw in here from uh, Wasi. Gets it into Dudley. Dudley gets it taken away from him so easily, unfortunately. Uh, Come on. Let's get on these guys. Don't let them get past you. Uh-oh. Sparks got some space there. Oh, of course, he was kicking it. Thankfully, he kicked it out of the bounds. We are going to get a goal kick here. Oh, another free kick here from Sparks. Atag I was going to say Atanaga. Oh, my goodness. That was just disgusting. At Atang Atangana. Atangana, whatever. That was disgusting. That was... Wow. <laughs> ah. All right. Come on, guys. I'm actually going to say demand more, guys. You guys should be playing better than this. It's our home crowd. They deserve to see a good game. One of their players getting the yellow card now, finally. All right, Kelleher getting it up to Bird. Bird over to Matthews. Matthews back to Bird. Back to Matthews. Oh, big kick. Actually, was going straight for the goal. Good, good try, man. I will give him credit for that one. That was good. Goalkeeper could have been caught sleeping. You never know. Uh, that's going to be a goal kick, unfortunately. Come on, guys. Going into the half down, down by one is not what we want to see. Doyle's going to throw it into uh, nobody, but Matthews could be able to pick that one back up. Kick it over to Wasi. Wasi, not much space here. He's going to get it taken away from him. He's not careful. Oh, try to get it around front up there for somebody to, you know, knock it in. But Matt Jones is able to come out and pick that one up. Kicking it deep here. Uh, Kelleher gets, the man gets past him. McCauley, just easy goal. Easy goal. This is not good, guys. You do not, oh, man. <laughs> I'm bummed out. We've had such a good run, and now we're giving up three goals like that to Cheltenham, who's supposed to be, quote-unquote, an easy win for us. I am not happy with this. I'm going to be very assertive. Where's your passion, guys? Phillips playing it, having an absolutely atrocious game right now. That is not the money that we paid for that guy. Kelleher over to Phillips. Phillips kicking it deep up. Uh, McFarlane was in the area. Unfortunately, that's going to probably be the end of this intro highlight here. I hope. Because now <laughs> Cheltenham has the ball. There we go. Yeah, I don't know what we can do to bounce back from this. Phillips just absolutely playing atrocious. Long throwing it in. Doyle able to take that one away. Getting it up to McFarlane. McFarlane has a little bit of space. Going to get it over to Rooney on the right-hand side. Rooney, what are you going to do with it, buddy? Going to get it over to Wasi. wasi has got some room to cross it in. Dudley's in the area. Unfortunately, nothing going there. Rooney's going to get it. Try to get it to it. Phillips coming up, making a play. That's good. We want to see that kind of stuff. Rooney back up to Dudley. Dudley over to Rooney. Back to Bird. All the way over to the left-hand side to Doyle. Doyle trying to get inside to Lloyd. Lloyd. Ah, oh, terrible accuracy on that one, unfortunately. Matt Jones with a goal kick here. It's already another highlight, so I'm not sure if I'm liking this or not. We'll see. Lloyd on the other team. No, no, no. This is not... Oh, my goodness. <laughs> the bleeding is just not going to stop, is it? Okay. Well, I, I don't really have much else to say. This is uh, pretty atrocious at this point. Always able to come up with that one, at least. McFarlane has some space here. Able to get us a goal. Stop a little bit of the bleeding. We got a lot of work still ahead of us, though. McFarlane hasn't had a lot of goals this season. Actually, he's up to 12. Uh, I think Rooney's got 16, so not too, too bad. Doyle up to Matthews. Matthews going to get it back over to Lloyd. Lloyd over to Doyle. Doyle has a tiny bit of space. Not much. Going to get it crossed in. Rooney's in the area. Unfortunately, nothing going there. Matthews. Tries for a kick. Not on target, though. Man. Come on, guys. Well, 
I mean, I think Phillips has to come out. I mean, he is just playing terrible right now. I have no idea what's going on with this guy. So, Mr. Phillips is going to swap out for... Uh, oh, I didn't bring Pond on here. Oops. I guess we'll bring Callum Ellisley here. Do you prefer a different thing? No, you're fine. So, we'll bring Ellisley on just something different. Come on, guys. Uh, show some passion, guys. Fired up. You guys are fired up. I mean, Dudley, come on. Let's get something here. Lloyd, coming back. Oh, gets tripped up. Man. Every chance time we have a chance, it just seems like it just gets taken away from us. Okay, let's see what this one first before I do any tactical things here. Matthew's going to be able to get it over to Bird. Bird, going to... Get over to Wasi on the right-hand side. Wasi's got a little bit of room here. Try to get it in. Unfortunately, just nobody there. Bird up to Matthews. Matthews. Lloyd. Lloyd has some space. Oh! I think it was an own goal, but I'll count it. Okay. Well, I mean, Lloyd kind of helped make that own goal, to be fair. But, uh, wow. All right. Well, that's a thing. Um, let's go look at our tactics again. Obviously, Wasi's playing terribly right now, so we'll go ahead and swap him out for, unfortunately, nobody. Never mind. Who else is playing poorly? Kelleher is playing pretty bad. Dudley's playing pretty bad. Kelleher's looking nervous. I don't like to see that, but I don't know if I want to give up both of my defenders. Let's swap in somebody for Dudley. Do we have somebody for Dudley? Yeah, we can bring Gaffney on here. That, I think, will be ex absolutely perfect. We're actually going to make him a wide target man and actually move Rooney into more of a poacher. Because if this guy's going to play more target man, then that should be fine. All right, guys. Let's not give up, guys. Let's not give up. It's not over yet. Wasi throwing the ball in. Trying to go deep to Gaffney. Unfortunately, nothing going there. But Rooney was able to pick that one up. Up to McFarlane. McFarlane doesn't have a lot of help. Uh, over to Gaffney on the right-hand side. Back to Rooney. Wasi. Now we're starting to get a little bit more of a setup here. Bird up to Gaffney. Gaffney back to Rooney. Back to Gaffney. Back to Bird. Matthews. What are we doing here, guys? Over to Lloyd. Lloyd's getting it taken away from so easily, unfortunately. So this is still going to be a highlight. And it's going in the favor of Cheltenham at this point. Lloyd just... The other Lloyd getting just passed. Thankfully, Crokin was able to grab that one. Oh, come on, guys. We need this one so bad. I don't know if I'm ready to go full attacking yet. I'm going to hold on just a little bit longer. See, see if the boys can just get that one more goal that we need. At least get this one drawn back up. I think we would be pretty uh, happy to escape this one with a draw at this point. All right, last sub of the game. I keep going there. I need to get used to this one because I want to be able to see kind of more of what's going on. Um, Doyle. Do we have somebody who can place, replace Doyle? Yes, Ebu. Ebu, fullback attack. I think that is... Fine. Let's just wing back and full back. Uh, okay, and then full back. I'll try wing back. I think wing back would be slightly better. Be a little bit more aggressive. Get it up to Lloyd. Connect with Lloyd. Uh, I guess we'll go very attacking because we need this. Come on, guys. One more goal. One more goal. <laughs> Matt Jones, deep kick here. Uh, Wasi's in the area. Is so we going be able to do anything with it? Going to kick it back to our goalkeeper. I'm not sure if that's quite what we're looking for. Krokum's going to kick it pretty deep here. Gaffney's in there. Over to Bird. Bird able to get past his man. Bird. Coming up, Rooney's in the area. Rooney's going to try try to get it to somebody. Bird, oh my goodness, so close. We needed that one. Oh, Lloyd with the corner kick here. McFarland's in the area. Nothing going there. Uh, Lloyd, get on that one, buddy. Get on that one. Lloyd. And that's the end of that highlight, I bet. Well, no, it's actually not, which is probably bad for us. Other Lloyd breaking free here. Too easy for him. Vincent over here on the... Uh, Left-hand side. Kicking it in. Crocom snatching that one. I think that's going to be about it for us, guys. Come on. 
I mean, I don't. I think it's too late for this, but push forward. McFarland's in the area. Matthew's able to come up with that. Over to Gaffney. Still got a highlight going here. Maybe it's just the end highlight. I don't know. Wasi gets that taken away from him so easily. Come on, guys. Ellisley able to come up for that one. Bird. Over to Matthews. Matthews. Back over to Bird, guys. You fought so hard to get back in this game. Let's go. Up to Gaffney. Gaffney back over to Bird. Bird trying to get it up. Just easy lob for Matt Jones to pick up. Man, a couple of those so close to going in. Ellisley be able to pick that one up. Back over to Bird. Back to Matthews again. Kicking it up to Gaffney on the right-hand side. Unfortunately, just going to nothing going there. He wasn't able to control that one. And I think this is going to be the end of the game here in a few seconds. Yeah, Vincent over here to pick that one up. Actually pushing up pretty hard here. Uh, Kelleher coming up with that one. Just kicking out of bounds, though. And that's the end of the game. Oh, my goodness. Fought back. Oh, well. Man, that's disappointing. Hmm. There's no excuses, honestly. There's not. Nathan Phillips just played a terrible, terrible game. Oh, man. That's rough. Oh, well. Those happen. Those happen. Don't need to be losing the games against teams we should be beating. Definitely taking a promotion hit there. Finally lose after so many games we've played so well. I mean, fought back, almost got the draw. A couple of those goals they got, though, were just so silly. Oh, well, what you going to do? Yeah, definitely taking a hit. I mean, if we lose playoffs now after playing so well in the middle there, I mean, draws are not great, but pretty good. I mean, it's obviously better than losses, and we had a few wins in the mix. So, of course it's projected. You know, I don't actually expect this to go through, but I don't know. I'm going to bump it up crazy high. Tell you what, I will give you $200,000. This guy's, I mean, I don't know if he's that good, but he's pretty good. We'll see if they, they accept that one. I doubt it. All right, that's enough. <laughs> I've had no fun with that one. I was just trying to mess around, see if they would actually ever give him up. He actually was trying to pay more than he was probably worth. Um, Mr. Thompson, goalkeeper here. Eh, we've got, we got our kid coming back. Um, So I think we'll just acknowledge this and be fine with that. Burry. Let's get the win against Burry at least. Come on, guys. I actually think I'm going to drop it down to a little bit more positive. I like the attacking, but maybe it's just too much. Let's bring it back a little bit more positive. A little bit more control, maybe. Team registration. Uh, let's wait for a second. Let's see if it makes us do it. I was hoping we get some of those guys coming in before the end of the reg registration here. Uh, transfer deadline? Uh, sure, we'll take part. Why not? Got a couple, couple options there. James Brown, fullback. Tips between the two clubs is pronounced. That's fair. Much stuff going on right now. Uh, inbox. Gives up on Brown. Important dates in February. Uh, yep. Wilson Close to signing for Salford. We'll go ahead and pick him up. I think that's fine. Randall Close. We'll go ahead and pick that up. Uh, that looks good. Just realized that I have an air purifier behind me that's on automatic. And it is going a little crazy. One second. Turn that off for now. <laughs> Sorry about that. I don't need a, a wind tunnel in behind me. Uh, there we go. Um, I guess the air in my room is just getting unpurified. So I'm suffering for you guys. That's what I'm doing. <laughs> um, so we signed him. I'm going to have Pond welcome him. That's fine, I think. Um, ask Hogan to welcome him. I think it looks good. We'll see. It's assigned squad numbers. You still want a one. You don't care. You don't care. So we'll just auto number. That's okay. 
Lewis Collins. Oh, doesn't matter. Uh, submit numbers. And I guess we'll team red do registration at the moment. A couple new guys. We'll see. See what they've got going for them. Maybe we can develop into something. Who knows? Monthly financial update. We're still doing really good on the finances, to be fair. But we're still, what, 2.68 million south of what we should be. Uh, speculate persists that Sean Hobson could be leaving more lane. Um, I mean, if there's sufficient interest, I'm not going to say no to something that's got good enough interest, but I doubt it's going to come up. Come on, let's go. Uh, Hobson headed for, I don't think so, to be honest, but we'll find out. How serious has your transfer budget been depleted about the sort of deal you've made in this transfer window? There's still enough to spend if we want to. I don't think we will, but there's still enough. Quite a bit, actually, of transfer. I think we've got a couple hundred thousand dollars left, if we so choose. Still has money to spend. South and try offer for Platt. Platt. Why do I not remember Platt? Oh, he must be a. He must be one of the guys I have on. Okay, okay. I was gonna say I was like uh, I'm confused. Who is this guy? He's one of the guys I have on. I guess a shortlist or something like that. I don't know why. But no, that's fine. We don't we don't need him. Do you plan to loan out Kamar Moncrief? I think it'll be better served at remaining at the club for now because he's the only HGC we've got. We kind of need him. I mean, we could bring up another youngster, but yeah, I'd rather just have Kamar there who technically could probably play in a little bit. We've, we've played him a few times just to just to say, subbed him in a few couple times. But yeah, um, board's pretty confident in us. Really? You don't like our decision to sell Carl, huh? Oh, oh well. Apologies for that. Platt on trial, that's fine. Fraser's... Oh, I guess it's just a guy we were scouting. I mean... Could be good. Let's just keep scouting him for now. We'll see what happens with that. I'm trying to just go crazy here. Really just trying to develop our team as best as we can. We're so close on a couple of these games. Honestly, how many games have we lost by like a goal? Uh, or even all those games that we ch drew, you know, just a goal away from getting a win there. So it's uh, just a couple goals here and there. And we would have uh, quite a few more points. It's been an exceptionally busy day. Um, I wouldn't run anything out. Why not? It's only been a, it's only an hour left, though. I doubt anything else is going to happen. 30 minutes left. Transfer deadline is done. Um... Really nothing else crazy going on. That's the, that's the main one, so we don't care about that one as much. All right, fine. One final team registration, I guess. Get everything locked in. New work permit rules. Well, I'm not really going to... I mean, these are some of the new work, work permit rules because of the fact that of Brexit, basically. Uh, which is funny that they simulate that in the game, which I guess I guess it makes sense, but it's just interesting to see that type of thing in the game. Um, but uh, I'm not I'm not going to read through this. I, I just assume that when it time comes that we have to deal with something, it'll we'll, we'll know what happens. Uh, available first team players for the under under 18s. Just set you all unavailable, and then just set you all available until fit. Put you guys up here. Honestly, that's probably okay. We'll go with that. Loan report. We got Collins out. We got Ash out. Ash playing fairly good. Uh, Collins, you know, it's got a lot of room to improve, so we're hoping. Danny Lloyd, keep it up the good work, buddy. Man, that four three loss. And I, I, to be fair, we were down four one, and we came back, got a couple goals. So, I mean, to be fair, oh man, Moncrief just keeps getting hurt. Can you just like go sit in a bubble somewhere? We don't want you to train. We don't want you to play. We just want you to sit in a bubble because you are literally our only HGC we've got. So just go sit in a bubble and then sit on the bench. That is your job. <sighs> oh, well. 
I'll have to bring up one of our one of our youngsters just to sit on the bench. But again, I think that rule is really dumb, quite frankly. I'm, I'm sure it's a legitimate rule. It's like actual real rule. Um, I guess maybe more the fact that we just don't have anybody. Like we have nobody at the level we're at um, that, that qualifies, which is so weird. Ellis Lee injured only out for a couple of days, but Farland injured up. Man, everybody's getting injured. Maybe our training's going a little too, too, uh, too crazy. Ponticelli forward. Yeah. Not bad, actually. Could even be as much as a three and a half star. I mean, when would he be able to join, though? Like, not till the end of the season or something, or what? He's got a lot of potential. I'm going to add him to the short list and keep scouting. Uh, he might be somebody worth trying to look at. All right, here we go. It's taking so long to get to the Burry game. Looks like we, we won a 3 nothing. Beasley showing up, doing his thing. After this, we have an away game against Crew. It's currently fifth. Doyle to dive into tackles. Okay. Uh, remove taker. Sure. Let's actually. Can I just like automate all of this, all the time? Just, I don't know. Grab whoever. I mean, I could do it, but I'm assuming it'll be mostly. Okay, like, let's see, throw-ins. Actually, Doyle is not that good. Why is it auto-picking him? That seems a little weird. All right, fine. We'll do it ourselves. Because apparently, it cannot be trusted. Um, Lloyd. So you want it to go opposite, right? So right side should be left foot. So Lloyd over here, right? Let me double-check this real quick. Like, if I quick pick, yeah, to put Lloyd at the top. Just making sure. So corners, Lloyd, uh, Matthews on the other side, Williams, uh, oh, wrong one, Doyle, I guess, oh, Williams, go away, and then not really a whole lot of other people. I mean, none of these guys really play at the moment, so we'll plug them in there just to say. And then free kicks. Like, are they even close? Lloyd, Dudley, that's fine. Matthews, okay, these are okay. The throw-ins, though, not so much. I actually don't think it matters, obviously, which side they're on the throw-in. So just Gaffney, Reed, Wiseman, Hogan, Williams, maybe. And let's do the same on the other side. Although a lot of these players sub around, so I don't know. It could be a time that <laughs> none of these guys are actually on there. We'll go with something like that. Maybe that's good enough. Uh, defend. More defend. Less support. Three to four defend. All right, let's go ahead and move you. It's more of a defensive thing, I guess. And we'll move you to more of a defensive thing. You guys straight up defend back here. Couple support. Because I can have you defend and actually one of you guys maybe attack. Let's have Doyle go more of an attack. Uh, actually, I think Wasi attacks a little bit better. Yeah. Something like that. Uh, so it's four defenders, a couple attackers, a couple support. Okay, that's going to be fine, I think. Probably move some players around, to be honest. Sellout expected. That's good to see. Uh, they are actually favored. Man. That loss still, still stinging a bit. Oh, also Wiseman actually said he was going to retire. I don't know if that's something that you guys saw or not. Jerry Yates. Oh. Could be really good.
Um, available on free, really? Let me just pick him up and just see what he can do. I don't know. We got, like I said, we've got so many people. Why not? Let's see what he can do. Uh, game promotion. In probably 22, 23 is hope. We'll just say make this playoffs this season. No, let's actually reset it. He wants us to gain promotion in 22. Okay, you know what? We'll say that. That's fine. That's fine. Who's this guy? Midfielder. Eh, I mean, might have some potential at some point, but not really what we're looking for. We'll just uh, acknowledge him, especially not for the cost that they're looking for. Oh, Jerry Lee Yates. We should be able to get this guy pretty cheap. He actually wants a full-time first-team contract, really. I mean, I haven't been super happy with uh, Farland, to be fair. Just come down a little bit on some of these. You get 20 goals, I'll give you whatever you're asking for there. For sure. We're actually not getting paying that much for him either. Oh, let's go up to there. All right, I think we're getting close here. Cool. I don't know. We're going a little bit crazy here, getting a lot of guys here at the end. Uh, so we'll see. Maybe the fact that he's a free, uh, it won't. Maybe we can transfer him in immediately. I don't know how that's going to work. Saving game. Uh oh, it's all blank. There we go. Rudy's up to 16 goals. Lloyd's at 706. Matthews just got nine assists. Pretty good. Um. Set all unavailable. Set all available until fit. It's actually quite a few of you. Wow. Yeah, sure, whatever. Go have some fun. We haven't had a lot of under 18s matches that allowed us to have our starters play because um, our first team play, I should say, because uh, they've been playing in like I guess a like a, their own league, like an actual official league, so it could only be the under 18 players themselves. Match preview. So we've won two, we've drawn two. So it's gone in our favor more often than not, but I really want the win here to bounce back from that terrible loss. Um, we're going to have to go get us another under 18. We'll just grab whoever's at the top here. You, sir. Adam Wilson. Oh, no, we need a trained in club. Uh, Marvin Walsh. I have no idea who you are, what you are, anything. Why are you not? That was weird. Move to senior squad. Uh, tactics. All right, Walsh, you got to sit up here because we need you for silly reasons. All right, there we go. Actually, I'm attacking the folder on the left side, huh? Well, good for you. All righty, what do we want to do here? All right, Crocum, still there. Wasi. I mean, he's got the best for the last five games. But his overall average is not that good. I think we're going to go back to Reed here. I think that's going to be fine. Uh, Phillips, Kelleher, I think is going to be okay in the middle. Doyle, or let me check to Kelleher versus Pond. Pond a little bit better. We'll go Pond. I mean, Phillips, buddy, if you have another game like you had last time, though, we's going to have some issues. But we shall see. Doyle on the left-hand side. Play, playing okay. Bird. Bird actually playing pretty well. I mean, average rating not so good, but his last five is really good still. So I think we leave him in here for now. Dudley, do we leave Dudley in? Kind of want to bring Gaffney back in here. Let's bring Gaffney back in. We know Gaffney can play well. I'm actually going to play him as a wide target man. I'm also going to move Rooney back up to more of a poacher. Um, Lloyd on this left side. I think that is okay. 
Rooney, and then of course McFarland needs to swap out here apparently. Who we got that can play for uh, McFarland? I guess Beasley could come up here. It's actually a little bit tired. What's 91? We may have to go with it. What role can we play here as target man? Pressing forward. I don't know, we'll do something like that. Uh, how are our subs looking? We need to swap out McFarland here. Everybody else I think is okay. Um, let's swap in. I don't know, arrest your Pritchard or something. Let's bring Pritchard up here. Try something like that. All right, looks good. Let's go with it. This episode's getting a little bit long. We had that transfer stuff in the middle, though, which is part of it. All righty. Let's encourage the players. Come on, guys. Um, I don't know, let's give the fans something to cheer for or something. Burry's in their black with blue stripe kits, and we are in our r normal red kit, sir. De Cristofaro. De Cristofaro. That was the end of that first highlight there. We're only playing pause right now. Normally we've been playing attacking, but we're going to go with it for now. See if maybe just a slight more defensive mindset is better for us. Terrible throw from Gaffney there. Hopefully Reed, yep, Reed is able to run that one down. Reed able to get it over to Phillips. Phillips taken away from him, though. And Holm is going to be on the attack here, getting past all of his defenders. Thankfully, Crocombe was able to get in front of that one. That was a terrible play there. Come on, guys. Uh, yeah, definitely getting too much room. Anything? Not a lot of highlights in this one. Bueller? <laughs> I mean, come on, what's going on here? Uh, yellow card for the other team. There we go. There's a highlight here. Reed picking that one up. He's got some room to cross it into somebody, but unfortunately nobody really there. Matthew's able to pick that one back up. Lloyd gets it over to Beasley. Beasley trying to do something with it. Unfortunately, nothing going. It is going to be a corner kick, though. Uh, should be what? Matthew's? Yep, Matthew's taking the corner kick in. Uh, Rooney's in the area. Ro oh, I thought Beasley was going to be able to come up and maybe bump that one in. Unfortunately, big fat no there. We only had two shots on our side, one shot on their side. Really boring game so far. Wow. Maybe we do need to go back up to attacking. This has been crazy. At least there'd be action, even if it's them getting goals. No, that's, that's, that's not what we want to see at all. All right, halftime. Exciting 0-0 game here. Um, I mean, the defensive effort's been pretty good, so... We'll say I'm pleased. I just want to encourage the boys. Give them a little bit of a, a bump in morale. All right, Phillips. Let's show that you're worth the money we're paying you. Reed over here. Going to get it up to Beasley. Was in the area. Matthews would be able to get his head on it. Uh, not enough power, though. I mean, the goalkeeper was able to get on that one pretty easily. Throw in here from Gaffney. Gaffney, not a good throw at all. Matthews thought you were going to be able to pick that one up. Unfortunately, no. And here we got a highlight for Burry. Very kicking it deep. Uh, Doyle able to get us get on that one. Kicking it back to Crocom. Maybe it'll be a highlight going our way. It's coming down. Pouring rain right now. Uh, yep, Bird up to Rooney. Rooney over to Lloyd. Lloyd, tiny bit of space, not much. Uh, Gaffney's in the area. Is he going to be able to get... No, not able to get enough on it. Or get, get settled enough to get a good kick there. That is a shame. Home off the post. So that is the end of that one. Tiny bit more action so far, though. Corner kick here for Holm, though. Phillips. Gaffney's able to come up with that one. Kicking it up here to Rooney. Rooney's got some space. Gets tripped up. It's going to be a throw-in, though. And that is the end of that highlight. Chris Stokes picking up an injury. P 
pretty even highlights here. Four shots, four shots, one on target, one on target. Oh, now we're up to five and two at least. About to get our first sub of the game. Uh, apparently Rudy's got an injury, so even though he's motivated right now, probably a good idea for us to sub him out. Um, that's unfortunate. Who can come in for Rooney? Dudley, Beasley. Actually, I'm going to do like a, probably a three-person switcheroo here, maybe. Uh, I was thinking about moving Gaffney up. I think I will. I'm going to move Gaffney up. And I'm going to move Dudley in here for him. Instead of being a wide target, no, just be a supporting or just an attacking winger. That's fine. Uh, Gaffney, though, okay. you're going to want to be more of a target man, supporting target man, and you be more of a poacher. Change things quite a bit. It's quite a bit of a big change, but maybe this will flow okay. Hopefully, Rudy is not too injured. He's obviously our current star uh, striker. Doyle's able to come up with that one. Bird up to Matthews. Matthews uh, over to Reed. Reed over to Gaffney. Uh, I think Rooney's still in the game at this point because it hasn't changed yet. Be awesome if Rooney could get a goal here before he gets out of here. Ga Gaffney's over to Lloyd. Ah, uh, nothing going there. Should have our swap here. Big old swap -a -roo. Lloyd, free kick here. Gets it inside to unfortunately nobody. I think he's going to be able to come back up with this one if he doesn't just slowly walk over to the ball. Bird over to Reed. Reed's kicking it up to Gaffney's in the area. Dudley over to Matthews. Matthews Duck really nowhere to go with it. Lloyd tried something off of the defender. Kicking it deep here. Telford thought he was going to come up with it. Thankfully, he did not. We've had eight shots now, two on target. We might need to go a little bit more attacking if we want to try and steal a Not steal a win. We, we deserve a win. This is our home game. Uh, deep kick here. Thankfully, nobody in the area. Crocom comes up with it. Kind of holding the ball here. Not sure what he's doing. We just running the clock. What are we doing here, guys? All right, Crocom kicking it pretty deep here. Beasley tried to get his head on it. Maybe he did, but unfortunately, he did go straight to the Bury players. Another deep kick here from Bury. Pond's going to be able to come up with that one. Back to Crocom again. Up to Phillips. Bird over to Dudley. Dudley. Some fresh legs here. Maybe he can do something. Reed kicking all the way over to Beasley's. Beasley's got some space and a goal. There we go, Beasley. It's only your second goal of the season, but man, it is a goal that matters. If that ends up being the winning goal, then, uh, you know, that's as that's, that's, that's important as anything right there. You can have 20 goals, and if none of them get you a win, it doesn't really matter, does it? Bury over to Holm. Oof. Thankfully, Crocom had his head on a swivel that time. Um, or I say swivel, just he was had his head on his shoulders. Maybe is a better better phrase there. All right, let's go ahead and swap out somebody. Maybe Bird. I don't feel like Bird's playing great. Let's bring on Cole in this place. We may swap Cole over to. Supporting box to box. I think that's going to be fine. Got to hold on to this lead though, guys. I'm going to keep it positive a little bit longer. Boys are playing pretty well. Probably swap it back down to uh, just balanced here in the middle. Actually, I'm going to go ahead and drop it back to balanced. We'll go ahead and do our last sub of the game. Um... Maybe Doyle over here. Let's bring on Ture. I think you a defensive wing back, I guess. And that'll be fine for now. Free kick here from Leadbitter. Come on, guys. Get in front of him. Spread back out. I hate these set pieces that we kind of get all clumped up and not really in our good defensive spots. There we go. Come on, guys. Play this one. De Teleford. Pushing the ball up. He's going to have a... Whew. It's hard to see from that angle if those are going in or not. Thankfully, that one was not. All right. Drop it down to Cautious here at the end. 
Just try to get... Hold on for five more minutes, guys. I <laughs> really want this win. It's not a very exciting win, but... Obviously, I will take anything at this point. Cool. It's going to be get called here for something. Okay, Cool. Didn't get a card there, thankfully. All right, 30 seconds left. I'm hoping this is just the final game highlight. Uh, Lead bitter up to De Cristofario. Or De Christ I can't say his name. <laughs> it's too fast. Uh, Reed, come on. Clear this one out, guys. Only 15 seconds left. We don't need to do anything. No heroics here. Just push it up. Run some clock here. Gaffney. Gaffney over to... We have some space here. Uh, if that had been a little bit better played... Might actually could have gotten another goal there. Beasley back to Tere. We're about to get the end whistle, though. There you go. It is a win. It counts. Wow. Wow. Um, It counts. That's all we needed. You know what? I'm going to say, well done, guys. Good win for us. We haven't had a lot of wins lately. Uh, we needed that one to break off from that terrible loss last game. All right. Well, we're back in playoff conversation not that many points off of automatic uh promotion quite frankly four points off but still got a lot of work cut out for us uh next game you guys see will be uh i guess wycombe here fifth place and gateshead 19th so hopefully we have a lot of good things to show for it by the time we get to that uh and then i think after that will be morecam and afc wimbledon and then whatever comes up down here Hoping playoffs, maybe, at that point. Uh, I do appreciate you watching, though, and I hope you join me again next time. Thank you, and goodbye.